Yeah, one of the issues with um, the aerodynamics that are static is like if you have an application where you're on the highway all the time, it's great. But if you're if you're doing a bunch of different things with this work truck, then you you don't necessarily are able to get the benefit of it. So I, I love the idea that when it's applicable and it actually will work, it deploys, and when it doesn't, it's retracted. Now, obviously, like you said, operating in a yard. Uh, operating at lower speeds, this retracted device then doesn't compromise or or reduce the maneuverability of the truck. Is that what I got that right? Exactly. It, it's packaged. It folds completely flat right up against the the back of cab, so you're within the the protected envelope of that trailer sweep. Um, and I should also mention, of course, that it is it's fully automatic. So uh, we have that smart hardware cloud connected telematics device that's plugged into the vehicle's uh, CAN bus through the standard. Uh, RP1226 connection. Um, so very much plug and play on that side. And then we also have a sensor that reads the position to the trailer. So it makes sure that you have adequate clearance behind the cab uh, and that you're not bobtailing so that we we are always in the right mode. And, and that takes the driver out of the equation completely. And that's an area where a lot of kind of d- dynamic, aerodynamic devices in the past have, have kind of failed the market because it wasn't fully automated. Uh, they, they may have presented great aerodynamic benefit. But since that was kind of not in the driver's um, day-to-day jobs, uh, a lot of those aerodynamic devices just weren't fully utilized. Um, So it was really critical from day one for us to make sure that this was an automated device. So you'd be maximizing your investment without depending on, on the driver.